Good morning. I've woken up from bed with a with a gate in my hands. Uh, don't ask questions. It's not your place to judge me. What I take to bed with me. But uh, welcome back to Dabadel Farm on the 13th of summer. It is a Saturday. It is Alex's birthday. So the first thing we're going to do today, we're going to make Alex a birthday present. Also, it's raining, so this is a day that I really want to prioritize fishing on. Um... Uh, someone in the comments mentioned that I should make Alex a complete breakfast. Alas, seems that I lack potatoes. Well, drat. I would have otherwise. I'm going to make myself a pancake, I think. And, um... You know what? I think Alex would probably enjoy uh, an omelette. So we'll make him an omelette. Right, let's check on the weather report. Is it going to be raining tomorrow? It is not. It's going to be sunny and clear all day. And what's our luck like? The spirits are in good humour today. I think you'll have a little bit of extra luck. I don't think we're going to end up going to the farm. Uh, the the mines, though. I will be going to the farm. I will definitely. I can't avoid that when leaving my house. Dear Avak, I'd like to share an old cooking recipe my pappy used to make. It's important the fish is fresh. Escargot. Very well. That's actually pretty cool. I'm fairly certain we're going to have... The uh, required ingredients for that in our fridge. I'll let those develop first. Nothing to harvest around here. Where are the melons? No peppers? Oh, okay. Ah, cabbages. This is what I want. No! False! I pressed. Pressed. Uh, I pressed that button instead of that. Oh, wow. I, I lost one. One due to stupidity. Yes, Thunder, that's how I feel as well. Oh well. Moving on swiftly, actually, so I can try and forget my dirt. Uh, we will drop these off. Uh, actually, we'll keep those on because I'm going to still be walking around the farm. Drop those off. I'm going to deposit all of these except for one because I'm taking one with me. Grab you. Since I don't have any bait yet, I'll just reload you with this. There we are. I know I said I'm going to uh, do this as a priority. I, I, I mean it as well, but you know me. Everything else will, will seem to happen before the thing I've said is going to be a priority. It's, it's almost like, like tradition at this point. Now, I'm not going to uh, water the greenhouse plants. I suspect I'm going to need to water them because obviously you can't get the ring in the greenhouse. Oh, look at that. Automated feeding. That is great. That is going to be a big help for us. Now, one of the reasons why, although I kind of want to do other things before I tend to the farm, like I'm not going to harvest the hops or anything. Oh, no worries, Bonnie. Um, uh, also, the air is definitely not going to happen enough. But one of the reasons why I want to tend to the animals before I leave is because it's raining today, so I can't let them out to eat, which means that the chickens, at the very least, are not going to have any food in there. So if I come back later at night, they won't have eaten that day. So I definitely want to go and uh, deal with that for them. Soon, though, we will have all of this automated and it will be grand. Hello, everyone. How are you all doing? I hope you're all feeling very good today. There we go. They all look like they're feeling good. Make sure that you're all happy. Right. I would like to place some hay down. There we go. All the way along. Perfect. Right, time to vacate. Uh, we will grab a cache of this. Where is Snufkin? I haven't seen Snufkin today. Snufkin, are you here? Where's my dog? Ah, oh, there's my dog. Just chilling out in the rain. Uh, you know what? Okay. I won't ask questions. If you want to sleep in the rain, that's fine. Right, a cache. Whisk me away. I wish to uh, begin the process of turning all of this milk into cheese, then all of the eggs into mayonnaise, and uh, damn it, I was up at the house and I didn't drop things off in the fridge. Massive dirt on my part. You know, I'm not going to care though, I'm going to deposit them all here for now. Uh, everything else can come with, I think. Right, let's go! If we're lucky, we may have some time to drop by Pierre's and grab ourselves some more produce because I would love to plant more melons around here. Like, really, really high priority on that one. But for now, we are going to swing past 
go straight to the beach and start fishing. I, I will be back, Marnie. Hopefully today, if I have time, in order to purchase some pigs and some sheeps. Now, a couple of people have, for a little while actually, been uh, mentioning the the names that they would love to have on pigs. And you know what? Usually it's, it's completely random, but we actually don't have that many people who've requested it. So uh, I've just made a list in order of the people who asked. And we're going to go with that for the pigs. Or at least if I get any pigs in this episode. Uh, since I haven't <laughs> I haven't prepared. Basically, I, I was a derp. I didn't prepare the, the list randomization. So now I'm trying to justify it, alright? You got me. I've come clean. I am a derp. You, you shouldn't be surprised. Let's, let's be honest with ourselves. It's, it's nothing new. I should have dropped off a milk pail as well as everything, really. Uh, however... Willy? Ah, glorious. Willy, I would like you to take all of these off me. Um, yeah, take those off me too. I'd like the trout soup, thank you. I'm going to eat this trout soup right away. Nom. I am now a pro fisherman. Not that I wasn't already, you understand. I mean, I beat Willy at his own game during the... Uh, during the festival, and yeah, I, I stumbled on my words because I just said I beat Willy. I like to pretend that, that, that I'm, I'm not into the whole lowbrow humor, but no, no, I, I, there are take times when my brain is like, <laughs> he said beat Willy. Really? The first fish? We are actually a master fisherman. That is fantastic. It's a gold red snapper. The first fish I got. I'm going to fish a little bit more. Honestly, if I've got this kind of luck, why not? Are you going to go down? No. Then I'm going to go down myself. Oh, no. No, no. Grab me the treasure. Ah! Drat. I was just a little bit too shy. Oop. That was annoying. Oh, well. It's nice, you know. Just chilling out on the dark. Pitch pat with the rain. Making ripples in the ocean. So the fact that the, the ocean doesn't have waves, waves is a little bit disconcerting. It probably should, in my opinion. Let's see how many more we can get. I wonder if we can just get all all uh, gold stars. That would be pretty awesome. Well, that being said, I've got to get Alex's birthday present to him. No, you're coming with me, and I know I already lost a ooh, massive Taliban. Yes! Okay. Willie, you can have these straight away. Because I'm not going to put them in my fridge, but uh, there you go. Thank you. Off we go. Let's grab Akasha. Whisk me away, Akasha. We must now go to Pierre's, I'm going to say, because it's 1 p.m. Well, still a fair bit of energy, actually. You know, I've got to do all of the watering as well. And yeah, you know what? It's on the way. Let's just quickly duck in here, give Alex his birthday present. Ooh, a cutting. Oh, sad music. What's up, Alex? Oh, hi, Abek. What's wrong, dude? You, you seem you seem a bit glum. Look at all these books. I haven't read a single one. Just the thought of cracking one open makes me nervous. You can't make a decent living in this world without a brain. Well, I mean, you can't really live in this world without a brain unless, well, unless you're... Uh, a jellyfish, maybe. That would, that would probably work. But you're clearly not a jellyfish, Alex. I'm worthless. Oh, now, come on. Don't don't be like that. Worthless? Yeah, that's about some sort of that. That would have been harsh, even if it was actually what you thought. That's crazy. You're a genius. That is just not what I think. So I'm not going to lie to you. You're, you're enough of a friend that I'm, I'm not going to coddle you. Um... We all have our strengths and weaknesses. Yeah, that, that's flat out true. And you clearly have certain strengths. Maybe maybe reading books isn't one of them, but it certainly doesn't mean you're dumb anyway. I know quite a lot of very intelligent people who aren't the book-learned sort. Yeah, I guess you're right. Well, I'm not going to give up. That's the spirit. This is the Ace Rimmer we all know and love. If I work hard, I can do anything. Indeed. Like... I get held back a year in school, then go to pilot space pilot school, become an awesome space pilot. And everyone loves you, like more than they should probably, and you have weird breakfast habits, and it's great. But you know, eventually, you know, you're riding on the back of crocodiles, killing bad guys. It's fine. 
Got a lot to live for, Alex. A lot to look forward to. Hey, maybe one of these days we'll have dinner and discuss philosophy. Isn't that what you smart people talk about? Ah, <laughs> oh, Alex. That's better. I'm glad I'm glad he, he's cheered up a bit. Cracking jokes is a good sign. Hey there, George. The weekend is no different than any other time for me. That's how it is when you're retired. Well, I suppose. I can't argue with that, beyond that. This is my favorite thing! Thank you! You're welcome. Hi, hey, Evelyn. Be careful out there, dear. You could get sunburned. Uh, I, I suspect the chances of that happening in this way. Ooh. Well, I, I'm going to hope that he doesn't mind. Hey, dude. Cut! Talk. It's okay. You don't need to talk. I just want to give you a present. Just, just look at it. I'll put it down on the floor. You remember my birthday? I'm impressed. Thanks. You're welcome. Enjoy your workout, dude. I wasn't sure what he was doing to begin with, which is why I hesitated. If I just realized he was working now, that's hardly something he's going to be that. that. I feel we're closer than that. Help wanted. I'd like to put a gold bar on a chain. Please deliver it sometime today. Penny. Oh, sure. I can do that, Penny. First. Yeah. Summer seeds available. Summer is a good time to eat refreshing salad, don't you think? Yeah, sure. Would you like a refreshing sashimi? Oh, no. You would not. Very well. Uh, right then. As far as the seeds we can... Ooh, that's a flooring. I wouldn't mind. As far as the seeds that we can buy... I'm going to say... We're going to grab a bunch of tomato seeds, and then I'm going to grab a bunch of melon seeds. Like, crazy amounts of melon seeds. If nothing else, I can just regrow them in my greenhouse for now. But those tomato seeds, I really want. Because there's lots of things I can make with tomatoes. They'll actually go in my fridge. I'm getting them specifically so I can cook with them. Uh, actually, I would accept a request. I'm going to go and give that my priority for now. You at home, Penny? It is raining. Oh, no, you're not. Uh, okay. Possibly the library. She might be tutoring Jazz and Vincent today. I'm not actually sure. No, it's the, it's the weekend. She probably isn't. But she might still be at the library. Let's drop by and see if we can find her. And... Whoosh. Hello. Ah, there we are. Miss Penny. A gold bar just for you. Oh, so you saw the ad I posted. It looks perfect. Let's see. Here's what I owe you. Honestly, I really wish <laughs> this is like an RPG. Is like, here's the money. No, I don't need it. You can keep it. My mother really hates octopus. Oh, sure. Okay. Mike. Right. Though, honestly, putting a whole gold bar on a chain. What are you gonna do with it? Swing it around your head and club monsters to death or something? I can't imagine you wearing it on your neck. Uh, alright, let's have a look. We want to... Oh, swim by Rasmodius' place. Marnie's place. There's a lot of stuff we can do. In fact, I could come back. If I if I go and get a bunch of work done now, I could swing... B ah, Krovis has already been given two things down. I could possibly swing back to the saloon before the night is out. Give some people some gifts. That might be nice. Either way, let's go straight up to this sweet pea here, and then over to the community center. Hello, community center. I have many, many, many things. Well, two things. I've got, I've got two things, but they're important things. No! It would, it wouldn't surprise me. Honestly, I wouldn't be the least bit surprised if I'd done that. If I'd eaten the red snapper just as I was going to put it in the bundle. I wouldn't even be that mad. It'd be like, eh, that's par for the course for me these days. Ooh, five warp totems. That's kind of cool. Now all we need is a war eye. That's all we need. Die bundle. Here you go. Need one more thing for that. So I need a duck feather. I need a truffle. We've already got the um, fiddlehead fern. I got that ages ago in, first, in year one. Someone in the comments posted that I really need to get that quickly before... Um, Summer is out. I really don't. It, it's fine. 
Um, we've already done that one. The one that we're missing is truffle there, and that's going to be pig, so we're going to need to get a pig for that, which we can now do. Over here, we've got two things, a rabbit's foot and a pomegranate. The pomegranate is just time, just waiting on that, and the rabbit's foot, equally time, but also a little bit luck-based, so we want to try and get that counter ticking very soon. We're going to need a little bit more money before we can do that, though, because we've got to upgrade our coop to the next level before we can get rabbits. But once we have, then that's what we're going to be aiming for. And don't worry, we're not chopping the feet off the rabbits. Apparently, the rabbits in Stardew Valley just shared their feet. I don't know. Uh, may maybe they've been hybridized with snake or, or spider DNA. And are like, eh, I'm kind of tired of this fur. I'm just going to shed it. And you know what? It's a lot easier if I just drop my whole leg and grow a new one with with different fur. I'm not going to question it. You know, if, if our rabbits want to share their feet, they can. I stand by their right to share their feet. There we go. Let's drop all of those off. Fantastic. In fact, now I can drop these off as well. Double fantastic. Then, I'm going to partake of some breakfast. Yum. Didn't need it at all. I ate it because, in my mind, you eat before you start work. That's how I do it, anyway. When I'm I'm doing any any work in an allotment, I have a hearty meal to begin my work day. Uh, milk. I'm not actually sure if that's healthy or not. I, I generally couldn't tell you, so uh, just in case it's not, don't do it just because I've said it is. Uh, that I do it that way. This is where someone in the comments will actually post it. Oh, uh, well, actually, Avak, that's not the right way to do it. It's not even about efficiency. It's about the way your gut works. You're actually making yourself much more likely to suffer hernia or something. I'm like, oh, God, I've done it all this time. I've managed to dodge the bullet for quite some time, though. So uh, maybe that's why I always get bad dice rolls whenever I play board games. It's like I'm using all my luck up avoiding getting a hernia. I'll accept it. I really don't want to have a hernia. Right. I would like... Oranges! I would like some orange marmalade! Oh my lord, so many good things. So many good things are happening at the same time. Hot pepper jelly! I, uh, I'm gonna be honest. Doesn't sound appetizing. Hot pepper jelly. Nah. Not, not, not something I would particularly be looking forward to. If I'm honest with you, if, if we're having serious talk time now, yeah, not the greatest fan. But that's alright. Oh, we got all those peppers down there. I'm going to need to know drop stuff off. My goodness. This should bring us a fair old bit of profit, though. We've got three pickled radishes, nine hot pepper jellies, two cheeses, and another cheese, so three cheese. Um, a goat cheese as well. Got, oh, I've got a all of these things in my hand. You know, yeah. We'll uh, grab these then from over here. Uh, well, I would if the cash wouldn't be in the way. Got you. And you, and I'll just bury them down to the industrial area. Alright. Now, it looks like we've got a load of stuff over here that uh, we are going to need to replant. Uh, it's a shame that I didn't grab a bunch of sap with me. I'd probably put it into one of the chests. I'm sure I've got loads somewhere. It feels like I should have a lot. I didn't put that in the, the uh, produce bin. So they need. Um, I got some really good food. Oh, you know what? Sure. We'll use that. I got loads of that as well. My load. Uh, that's four crop. This is fine. Right. Time to get to plowing the fields. And also then I'm going to go and water the crops in the greenhouse. I'll do all of that off camera though so you don't have to uh, endure it with me. And I will bring you back when we're done. So see you in a few moments. Right, I've just planted all of my uh, melon seeds, and I just wanted to bring you back for a moment, just to cover something, because uh, I realized I messed up with the cauliflowers last last season, and there was a potential for me to mess up with the melons as well. That's why I'm going to move the remaining melon seeds up and store them in the greenhouse only, because if I leave them out, there is a small chance I'll be like, oh yeah, I've got to plant some more stuff, I'll just plant melons. I'm running out of time. My melons I've just planted are going to grow, 
But I could easily see myself forgetting and then planting the next batch of melons there as well. And that would just be very, very... Well, it would be very, very normal for me, I guess. You could put it that way. I'd rather you didn't, because it's not very flattering, but it's also true. Uh, now, let's go and have a quick look at the greenhouse. I will show you how quickly I can get all of this watered, just for posterity, and then in the future I'll cut it all out. But let's just go ahead and do this. I've also got some cheese down there for me to go and take care of as well when I come back out. We're actually going to have a fair old bit of produce to sell today. This is going to be a very lucrative day for us, all things told, on the farm. I'm not sure I'm going to upgrade my watering can at all beyond this. The ability to water... Th Ooh, damn it. 3 by 3s is good enough for me. But uh, you can actually upgrade it to 3 by 6s I believe I've mentioned that in the past. That would be useful. But only in the greenhouse and only until I get Iridium Sprinklers. Now, hopefully... In the very near future, we're going to be going on a very big dive into the Skull Cabin. And when we return to the surface, we're going to have enough Iridium Ore to make several bars. And we only need one bar per sprinkler. So, given that we need a total of four for the outside fields, and I think about four for the internal fields in here in the greenhouse, plus a couple of just regular quality sprinklers, we don't need that much. That's what, eight... Yeah... 8 times 5, that 40 or we can probably get on a particularly good run. I've also been told that apparently quality fertilizer can be um, reapplied to something. I may just have like a, a strip of tomato seed uh, in here, maybe a strip of corn, just because they're useful things. I might even buy, I don't know. We're not going to be able to buy potatoes now. Maybe we won't. Maybe we'll just use this as a place for getting um, the cash crops. But I wouldn't mind having a place to get tomatoes because they can be used in so many recipes. That having a permanent production of them would actually kind of be useful to me. It's a shame we're not going to be able to get potatoes now. Uh, if only I'd thought about that. If only I'd realized I was down to my last potato, I would have thrown in the seed maker. Such a derp I am. I am regretting. Many regrets are being had right now. Okay, we've still got an awful lot of stuff to do. I've got a ridiculous amount of produce to gather. These hops, wow. They're going to be here for a little while. On the plus side, um, as I said, I'm going to be only keeping the lowest quality hops that we gather. All of the rest are going to be going straight into the produce bin. So we're going to actually be getting, from now on, a guaranteed return on gold and silver hops. Which, you know, is potentially a reasonable bit of money, all things considered. Some people have asked me, am I going to be putting hops in the greenhouse? No. There, there's no point. The, I don't think the return on investment is high enough at all for the amount of room you need to set that kind of thing up properly in the greenhouse, so that's a big nope on that one, I'm afraid. You are almost done. What we do need to do, though, is go and get a lot more wood and stone and coal so I can make many, many more preserved bins. So we have got a lot of stuff that we need to, uh, to make on a regular basis. In fact, do we have much wood? We don't. We just flat out don't have much wood. That's a shame. Really? I only ended 15? That surprised me a little bit. But okay, well, that'll that'll very quickly uh, build up over time. We don't need to worry about that too much. Um, I think we're more or less ready now. We've got two large eggs. We'll just pop these into the mail machines. And that's it. So, Akasha, take me to my bed. Well, not directly to my bed, just take me to my house. I have to fix those walls when I get up as well. I may move these, since I'm going more for an open plan. It's not as important to have them kind of alternating along the sides, and it does kind of make my mind itch a little bit when I see it. Grab you three. There we go. And drop off all of this produce, and tomorrow we should be filthy rich again. Hopefully. Those are mayo. All of this amazing stuff. All in there. There we go. 
And I'll pop the sweet peas over here. It's a bit unfortunate that I've got all of the different types of sweet peas. It's generally better if I've just got one type. I'll pick up the battery in a little bit. Uh, we'll store the flooring for now. Yeah. Uh, you know what? I actually like that. It's my blue room. I come from the cube. I don't like the red rooms. I like the blue rooms. Uh, yeah, everything else is good, by the looks of it. Alright. I do need to actually put some milk, just the flat out milk in there at some point as well. Uh, time for sleeps. Anything coming up tomorrow? No, it's just Sunday. Alright, well. More star, everyone. Now, how much did we make? 12k. That is wonderful. Let's have a look at that. The pickled radishes, three of them made 1,035. Nine hot pepper jellies made seven, um, 1,755. So the pickled radishes were actually really good. Cheese did pretty good. The one goat cheese did 675 for a gold goat cheese. That's a, a large goat's milk. That is a lot of money. Three poppy honey. Did the same as nine pepper jellies, more or less. 46 hops. 46 hops only made us 1,800. Versus three poppy honeys, which almost made that much. 44 silver hops only made us 1,400. But again, we're going to be getting those hops every single day from now on. So, Or at least until the end of summer. So, you know, we've got half of summer to be bringing that much money in. But I think with that... We're going to be wrapping up this episode. Ah, ah, nice new blue room. It looks grand. 21,000. We need a little bit more than that, I would say, if we're going to get the, uh, the coop made. But perhaps today we'll go and get some pigs. But that will unfortunately be in the next episode. So I hope you've all enjoyed and will be joining me for the next. As always, I look forward to any feedback you may have to offer. And a like on the video lets me know that you want to see more Stardew Valley or Stardew Valley-like games in the future. But until then, do take care.